talking to Thomas. Remember that we had spoken with him. Well, let's see. How long was it? Two weeks ago? It's been at least two weeks. He says it's been at least two weeks. I'll, I'll say everything he says because of the microphone. And you saw us do a, uh, a punch biopsy of that lesion on the back. And we had said at the time that we thought that it was a metastasis or a spread of cancer of a squamous cell carcinoma you'd had in your left neck that was operated on the scars right there. And what we found out was that it's not squamous cell carcinoma spread from a primary tumor, but rather a malignant melanoma that we never anticipated. And even Dr. Cohen, the ear, nose and throat doctor, was surprised when I told him on the phone that it was malignant melanoma. So the plan now is? The day after tomorrow, um, I, I will go here to the Auburn Hospital and Dr. Cohen will operate on me. And uh, I guess we'll find out a little bit more then. Um, he may have to do a skin graft. Uh, it has gotten bigger and deeper. Um, most interesting thing, uh, it's, it's a perfect circle. Yeah. The edges around it are hard. So he says that he's going to the hospital what day? Thursday. Thursday to have an operation uh, with the ear, nose, and throat specialist to finish taking it out. So let's take a look at it. Is it hurting you? Uh, it's a lot more painful than anything else I have going. All right. Like I said, you can just dispose of that band-aid as you will. Let's see. That's my, my tape job. I know it's beautiful. All right. And let me go get a glove here before we get into it anymore. Real quickly, I'll just get caught up here. And uh, you had signed a, a consent form, right? People are concerned that I'm violating your uh, health care no, privacy. If this would uh, help anyone with their own issues, possibly, or uh, someone they know, maybe, or um, it may be just fun entertainment. I don't know. For some, yeah. So what he's saying is he's okay with us uh, sharing his private health care information if it's helpful to other people. And there we go. So this is, um, this is the lesion, the biopsy we did. You, you can hardly even tell it was kind of in the middle area there. Uh, for, for reference, let me get a little ruler here. Um, if you like inches, there it is. It's, it's, uh, almost an inch. If you like centimeters, it's well over two, two and a half there. And uh, it is draining. What color is the drainage? Uh, you know, it has gone from primarily pus to now it's primarily blood. Primarily and pus to now primarily blood and pus. And Okay, so that is needing to be completely removed and, and they'll take away not only this raised border, but even uh, go outside of it uh, a certain number of millimeters. We'll have to ask Dr. Cohen how far he'll go out. And then you see this redness around here. I don't know how much of that he's going to have to take. We'll find out after it's done. I didn't know how much of that might be uh... Infection I did prescribe an antibiotic for me, but I, I run out as it goes. Yeah. So I haven't taken any more of that. But we'll, we'll hold off until he gets to it. All right. So, yeah, go ahead and sit. Well, let me get a, a dressing for it here. I'm going to turn this around and we'll put something back on that. Let me see what I have. Actually, I think I'm going to have the nurse do it because I don't have anything sterile here. So, we'll get a, a better dressing. Oh. Just it is difficult to get at. I have to use a dual yeah. air, uh, you know. Yeah, go ahead and have a seat there. Okay. And what we'll do is finish up with your, well, I guess we can have our audience join us too for the uh, pre-op evaluation, preoperative evaluation or, or clearance for surgery. There's a, a standardized form that Dr. Cohen has asked us to complete that asks questions like, do you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or do you smoke? Any of the three? I, <clears throat> I have high blood pressure and I am a light smoker. Okay. So both of those are things that increase risk. And then your EKG, which we 
just did, according to the computer, is perfectly normal. And I always like to double check with my own eye what the computer says. And I would agree that, yes, it looks, looks very good. So normal EKG. Um, we like to have that before going under. So we'll mark that as normal. I'll go ahead and sign it. And I'll listen to your heart and lungs today. Let's see, it's the 12th. And I'm going to say that even with the smoking um, and the blood pressure, let's see, what was the blood pressure? Do you remember what the blood pressure was today? It was high. Okay. I'm going to put you at moderate risk rather than low risk on that. Okay, so before I do the exam, let me go ahead and tell our folks that are participating uh, through the internet. Thank you for participating. Sorry I didn't get to all the comments uh, as we normally do because I was talking with the patient, but um, please do thank Thomas for uh, sharing his malignant melanoma occurrence with you. We're going to find out from Dr. Cohen more about it and hopefully we'll be able to share with them the results as this goes on so that we can kind of have a little series of how this went. It was surprising. And uh, for all of you, uh, do uh, watch on our YouTube channel. You can find a link to it in my uh, Periscope description. And that way you can catch the first video when we thought this was a, a spreading squamous cell carcinoma and then also any future videos that we make from this. We'll put them all there on the uh, YouTube channel so that you guys can follow it. And I don't know if you can read that, but people are saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, Thomas. You're very welcome. I know you all, any of you would do the same thing. It's not yeah. a big deal. He says he knows any of you would do the same thing. No big deal. So uh, again, thank you for joining us. And uh, until next time, it's Dr. Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.